Team Baxter. The first thing to do in the Tamiya manual is set up the electronics. They ask you to do this because the servo sits in a weird position and it requires that the servo saver or horn be installed first before it goes into the chassis. So I'm going to set my electronics up. I'm going to be using my Trail Radio DX3S. I'll be using a Savox for the first time. I'm a high tech user. Um, but in this case, the Tamiya servo horns that you have to use for this project, they are a certain number of teeth. My high tech servos do not meet those teeth requirements, so I had to go with a Savox or Futaba JR or something like that. So I chose a Savox. This is a SC0254MG. I've been told it's comparable to high tech servos along the same lines, so I'm going to give it a try. I'm not going to say it's the last Savox servo that I'll buy, but I primarily buy high tech and I'll probably be sticking with high tech. The ESC I'm using is the stock ESC that came with the kit. Pretty much free ESC. I've used it in the FJ Cruiser. It worked well. I mean, great for a basically free ESC. So I'm going to use it again, of course. Um, old standby SR200 receiver and the stock motor that came with it. And I just got a regular old six cell nickel metal hydride to test all this out with. So I'm gonna set all this up and get the servo horn installed on the servo and then I can actually start putting the chassis together. I've got all the electronics set up and now I'm about to start dropping them into this chassis. This is the lunchbox chassis pretty much a bucket style um, just drop everything in there and keep it moving so I'm gonna get the electronics on and the body mounts and a couple other small things and then I'll check back in the electronics are all installed in this chassis the ESC went on top of the platform the receiver down in the bottom um, I coiled the wires because they were a little extra long uh, the servo sitting right there in the front um, and protrudes out of the bottom. So I got those installed. I'm going to set this box off to the side. And now I'm going to start working on the rear gear box and the axle. It's all one. The motor sits on the rear axle and the gear box on it pushes the truck. This is the actual rear axle here on the parts tree be clipping that off and installing a series of gears in this axle. I've got these axle halves geared up and greased and now they go together and the motor gets mounted onto this. The rear axle went together with just three screws and now I'm going to start working on the motor. It's already got, um, got the motor mount and the pinion. I already installed the motor mount and the pinion and they actually install this they call it a nylon band zip tie, whichever, um, on the to hold the wires down. So this is going to get installed onto the rear axle, along with a few accessory pieces and some ball joints and the wheelie bar. The rear axle is all finished. The motor's mounted. All the little pieces are added on. But this. It's going together really fast. Um, the wheelie bar went on the rear with the little screw holding on the small plastic wheelie bar. Don't know how much that'll actually get used, but it's on there. And so now that this is all together, it gets mounted onto the back of the chassis where I mounted the electronics earlier. And there's a few support brackets that will go on, in particular these here. Um, and get greased here and to one go on each side of the chassis. I'm going to get those installed and show you how it went. I got the rear axle mounted to the chassis and now I'm start the process of adding the suspension on to kind of give this a little bit of spring. 
The rear suspension on the lunchbox has been installed. It's a weird suspension style. It's got a shaft that that sits on the spring and it kind of extrudes up through the through the body into the chassis. I I've never seen this before, but it'll work on this one, I guess. Now I get to flip it over and start installing the steering links and the front steering and suspension. This is the battery holder that I've already assembled. It's a simple just swing door that swings open and allows for a six cell battery to be slid into the side. Um, it sits underneath and when installed it looks it sits in there sort of like that and the door opens so you can get it out. So I'm going to get this put on and then the front steering and suspension start getting installed. Got the two fronts here. They'll be uh, going, being attached to the chassis next. It's just a simple, this is the bottom of the shock, and that's what the piston on the shock screws into. There's no oil in the shock, just a spring. Uh, and, and this is the steering mechanism. We call it an upright. Uh, and that connects to the link that I installed in the earlier step underneath the chassis. So I'm going to go ahead and get that installed on, on this chassis. And then the bumper and the front suspension. The front suspension went in very easily. The two links that I showed you earlier went into designated slots and this single triangular plate screwed in over top of it. From there I installed the front wheels which are just rolling on ball bearing and uh, I also installed the front suspension, the spring uh, and it's the same mechanism as the back the spring compresses and the piston shoots out of the top. The spring has been greased to move as best as it can um, and the bumper was installed as well with just three screws right there in the front holding it on. That's pretty much the, the extent of the truck. It's pretty much ready to run at this point. The links as built as instructed. The camber is off in the front wheels so that needs to be adjusted. Need to move on to detailing the body. I painted the body purple in the first step uh, along with the wheels that are already on the truck. So now I just need to do the detail work with the windows and the door handles. Just a little accent work. Um, not too much stickers. I'm not going to put the big Vanessa's lunchbox sticker across the side. I'm going to leave it just like this. It gets uh, tinted windows, hard plastic tinted windows, and roof panels, so I'll get that installed. Details, grill, and bumper, and the lunchbox will be done.